Hello, in this video we're going to review some of the functionality available with the address book manipulator plugin using the demo file. This video assumes that you have already installed and registered your plugin. If you have not done so, please see our other video for instructions on how to do this. The first thing that we're going to do is start on the contacts tab. When you click import all contacts, the plugin will pull in all of your contacts from your Apple contact application. From here, you can view a contact's detail, and we'll go ahead and pull up this contact. So here you can see Mark LaRochelle's contact information in the Apple Contacts app, and here you can see the same exact set of information in this demo file. In FileMaker, you can update a contact and then push it to your Apple record. So we could change his title from CEO to owner. And there you can see it just updated. You also have the ability to delete a contact from FileMaker and it will then delete it from your Apple contacts. So here we can come over and delete John Deere. And you can see that we have Julia Deere and John Doe, but no John Deere. You can create a new contact in FileMaker and push that to your Apple Contacts. We'll click that new contact button and then we'll come over and we'll add Harvey Smith. He works for Productive Computing. He's a product support specialist. So we'll go ahead and click Add Update. And here you can see we have the Productive Computing and Harvey Smith, the Product Support Specialist. With the Address Book Manipulator, you're also able to work with your groups from inside of FileMaker. So we can go ahead and import all of our groups, and we can also create new groups. But let's go ahead and take a look at a couple of these. We have our chamber contacts, and when we click Update Member List, you can see these four contacts that are in this group. You can also click and get more information on that contact. You have the ability to add members, and you can add a whole group to a group, or you can just add a single contact. So now what we're going to do, after adding Jeff Roth to this group, we're going to go ahead and update it in our actual contacts app. So we'll do single. And now you can see that Jeff Roth is part of that chamber contacts group. Next, let's go ahead and create a new group. We'll just name this sample group. We'll add it to our contacts. So here we have our sample group, and then we're going to go ahead and add a member. We'll add a group to start with. And then we'll add a single contact. So now you can see we have our Carolyn Floyd and our DevCon groups contact. We'll update that record. And when we come over, you can see we have our single and our group record. We can also easily delete any of these groups. So if I come into here and I click delete from address book, now we no longer have that sample group in our contacts. That covers it for this demo review. Make sure you check out the link in this video's description for more information on this plugin. Thank you for watching.